guys, welcome back to or welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Chyan Auction and if you have, thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. It really does mean a lot to me. And as you guys know, last week's video I talked about why I'm starting my new series, True Crimes of Australia. But because I haven't finished writing any of the script, I haven't finished fully um, researching the very first um, person case that I wanted to cover so I'm doing a filler video instead which I hope you guys still like I'm yeah with the true crime videos there is a lot of information and a lot to go through and I want to make sure I go on my facts right I want to make sure I have everything so I'm taking my time with researching and writing out the script and making sure that I have everything as solid as possible but yeah I hope you guys like this video and let's get into it so, as I mentioned, I am doing a haul video today, and today I will be doing Dollar Choice, which is basically like the Australian version of the Dollar Store, 99 cent store, and um, Dollar Tree in Canada, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, and I got quite a few things, and one of them's already out of the packaging because I have used it, so yeah, stick around and find out which one that was and what I think of it, and let's get into it. I gotta get my ass up to find this. I don't know if I'm leaving this in. I feel sorry for anyone who had to look at my ass right now. Basically, a big black mysterious bag and I am sinking, oh my god. Damn chair. I might not leave this in, I might edit it out. Hell no, this is funny as fuck. Just so you know, I am wearing actual like whips. Skinny jeans, as you can tell, but well, they're not really skinny. Yes, everyone can tell. Not everyone is as blind as you, Cheyenne. I put them on for the video because with this frame, if I'm not wearing, if I'm even if I'm wearing shorts, it looks like I'm not wearing pants. So I figured I'd put on some pants. Keep in mind, as soon as this is finished and I need to edit, I'm getting straight back into my shorts and I'm drinking some champagne. Just thought I'd throw that out there. But yeah, I have this big mysterious black bag. Um, I might just hold this still and get the thumbnail. I think we should all be good for the thumbnail. So, I got quite a lot of craft stuff. Because a dollar choice has literally opened just down the road for me, like where Colt and Audis are in ammo, and I am living for it. Like, thank God I don't have to go further than down the road to get stuff if I need it, like last minute. I'm pretty sure some of this stuff is my mum's. <laughs> One, mum had already taken this stuff out. Two, what the hell was that like? We'll find out. Anyway, keep watching to find out what is in here. And yes, this is one of my shopping bags. We went in my car and we had to use mine. Okay, let's pull out the first thing. A set of pea plates. As you might know, I've obviously got my peas because I do drive and you've seen the driving video, but yep. Yeah. Um, I got extra pea plates because I have well, when I had my old, we had the magnetic plate, and I lost that, like, really easily. Came off, and after that, we started using the ones with brackets, because we noticed after a while with using the magnetic one, if my car was outside in the sun or in the rain, it would become faded in that one spot. It's pretty much gone now, it's been over a year, but it's still slightly there, so ever since then, we've used these. And although since using the brackets, I have lost the front P plate, like the one that's at the front of the car. And yeah, I got so nervous driving home without that P plate on because I was like, oh my god, the one time I don't have that P plate, I'm going to get pulled over by the police and I'm going to have to say, hey, it came off. I'm just driving home, I'll put it on as soon as I get home. But like, I have a shit ton of L plates in my car. Literally have no spare pre plates, so we got this, and we got a different type of bracket. Because the one I've got, they kind of like drill 
you have to draw an into the number plate, I think. And because of that incident when it came out, my dad decided to... My mum and dad came up with the idea to cable tie them, so if I ever needed to take it out, we can't. Thank you for that, mum and dad. Really appreciate that. Yeah, that was the first thing I got. And it was really cheap. Like, it was only $3. That's cheap. And I decided to finally invest in a hot glue gun. As you guys might know, hot glue guns can be so expensive that I was like, do I want to pay out that much money for something I'm going to use in 34 videos? No, because I'm a fast food worker on minimum wage. <laughs> but they had one that was pretty cheap and I was like, you know what, I'll get it. It'll make my life easier and it's cheaper. This was only seven fifty. So it's a uh, glue gun, it's just the uh, 7.2 millimeter glue sticks. It's got the cord in the back and three glue sticks as well. And I thought these would be handy for my DIY videos. If you haven't already checked that out, check up there because I'm not one to brag, but they've been pretty good so far. And it can only go uphill, not downhill. Everything else has gone downhill for me. And I got twine. So, as you know, with my DIY series, it's a lot of Harry Potter like DIYs and potion bottles. So, I figured the twine around the top of them might make them look a little bit more realistic. We'll see how that goes, but it was only $2.50, so I thought, why not? Never heard of twine. And I got these little, like, potion bottles things. I thought it was so cool that you get, like, two of this size, one of these two, two of this. But I, the thing that sold me was these two, because they looked the most <laughs> realistic to an old potion jar or jar that holds like potions ingredients so I was like don't mind if I do I picked some up from another like cheapy shop in Gungarlan I'm just seeing if I can find it this sadly is the behind the scenes footage that I normally cut out but I'm not going to today because I can't be bothered apparently not but um they were kind of like the bigger ones as well and I did pick up some jars from Rejet shop for like the hell of it, I thought it's always handy to have some big ones, so why not? That clock stop nearly always comes out. And then, last things last, I got this. The reason why I got this is for a potion DIY, so I've got a darker blue somewhere. And um, because one of the potions that I want to make is like darker blue with some lighter blue here and there, so I thought if I tried it with paint and glue, maybe that might work. It's basically, it's a YOLO, like Lord DIY said, it's a huge YOLO. I have to try it out and see. But yeah, I'm very excited for that. Let's all take a moment to appreciate how confused I look. And um, now me looking confused trying to find a wireless charger. That's what it was. And the best thing I got, and I said to last, which I had used quite a lot, is a wireless charger. And it comes with this mini, um... Let's see how long it's going to take me to remember that it's a micro USB uh, cable. micro USB cable. Comes with that, so that goes in the power adapter. And then this obviously goes in here. But yeah, and then um, when we bought it, the ladies who were working, um, you have to tell them what kind of device you're using the charger for. So if it's an Apple, they'll give you one of these that's for an Apple device. But because I was using it for my phone, they gave me an Android one. And yeah, so basically I might go and see if I can get the Apple one as well because that was what I was getting it for. But I was like, I'm not sure if I want to try it with the iPad as because my phone's like a really crappy, like, Android one. Yes, I'm just showing the world how shitty of a phone I actually had. And it was real cheap, so I went, you know what, I'll sacrifice it. 
one go in my back pocket and then mine back is going to stay out. So yeah, so I might go on off for the Apple one because this does work really well and so the whole reason for me getting this was if I was filming like out and about, I wanted to be able to charge my device. So yeah, I like this. So this, if any of you have never had a wireless charger before, this is what you do. So you see that this end goes in right here and then you have to put it like this when this is plugged in you put it on here and the blue light will come on the red always on but the blue will come on as well and then it charges so yeah I didn't know that it took a while for me to figure it out I was like how the hell do I get this to charge I've got no idea I'm not tech savvy trust me girl we know so anyways, I hope you guys liked today's video. I know it's probably a bit all over the place. There's probably some weird um, bloopers that I'll normally cut out that's going to be included. But I just wanted to do a really chill video because I am working really hard on these true crime ones. So I figured why not do something fun, very chill and... Because I went shopping anyway and I bought all this stuff. I went, ah, oh, why not make a haul out of it? Could have done that so many times because I do go on a huge shopping spree. I did buy a lot of stuff at Kmart the other day, so if you want to see a Kmart haul, let me know down below and I will happily do that because there's some stuff that I seriously want to recommend and some stuff that I'm actually using to help me research my true crime series, so I'm happy to make that video if you like it. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you liked out of all these items and comment down places you would like to see me do hauls for and yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications to be notified every time I upload. I'm not always on time with uploads because let's face it, technology is not that good and I I leave it till night time to film and then because the lights on my forehead looks bigger and shiny. Girl, shut up about your big ass shiny forehead. So, I should really learn to film earlier in the day with the sunlight. Well, I know, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!